Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Darren. I also go by Dr. Wiseass. Did AMD just prove the leaks about the Ryzen 3000 CPUs are wrong? First thing I want to let everyone know is I am not a computer hardware expert. I'm making this video because I couldn't find anyone else who is actually asking these questions. I really hope to get some good comments about what you think about AMD's keynote speech and if you think it proved or disproved the Ryzen 3000 desktop CPU rumors. I just recently began streaming to Twitch about a month ago and have been using an old laptop that I had lying around and so I've had my eye on computer hardware for the last several months as I'm considered, considering building a dedicated streaming PC for the Twitch. I've been very excited about the leaks and I was hoping that the Ryzen 3000 or 3300G could really be 6 cores with 12 threads and integrated graphics all for $129. First, everyone likely knows the rumors to date. So here's a chart showing all the reported leaks. I won't go into all the details, but you can read them here for yourself. But as you can see, the Ryzen 3s are based on 6 cores and 12 threads. The Ryzen 5s are based on 8 cores with 16 threads. The Ryzen 7s are noted to have 12 cores with 24 threads. And the Ryzen 9 noted to have 16 cores with 32 threads. During the keynote address, AMD did not provide any specifics of the desktop Ryzen 3000 CPUs. However, they did show one of their chips take on the current king of CPUs, the Intel 9900K. Here's a clip of the CPU's Cinebench results. Uh, what we're going to show you today is now third gen Ryzen with a head to head comparison against the top of the line Core i9 9900K running the industry standard Cinebench benchmark. And what you can see, let's take a look at the Cinebench scores. Ryzen looks like 25, 2057. Our competitor is running at 2040. So um, that sounds like a win. Does it sound like a win? Now we can see AMD is able to edge out Intel here. And the really interesting thing is when AMD describes the chip they're putting up against the 9900K. So note, let me tell you what we're running. We're running 8-core, 16-thread Ryzen, not final frequency, early, uh, early, um, early uh, sample, and we're running stock frequencies of the, um, of the Intel part. That's right. She said it's an 8-core, 16-thread CPU. According to leaks, this would mean that the Ryzen 5 just beat Intel's best chip. So likely AMD would want to show as much of an advantage over Intel's computing power as possible, which would lend one to believe that they would use their most powerful upcoming CPU. So does this mean that AMD's top of the line Ryzen desktop CPU is only eight cores? And thusly the rumors we have been hoping for are all wrong? Well, maybe. After noticing this, I decided to find out what others were saying about this and I really couldn't find anything. However, I stumbled upon this Reddit thread, which has given me some renewed hope in regards to these rumors. So the first post here by XGMX Basudio Brown noted that the chiplet design is confirmed and it appeared there is likely room for two 7 nanometer dies. And this would allow them to put another die with an additional 8 cores. Further down, there is more evidence. Tech underscore all bodies has gone and pulled some photos from the keynote speech showing when the chip was actually held up. So these are some super low res photos that were taken from the stream, but in these photos he notes an outline showing in the light reflection, and this outline could show the location for the additional die with the additional 8 cores. So the question still remains, are these rumors really true? Did an AMD Ryzen 5 with 8 cores just beat Intel's best chip? I'd really love to hear your thoughts, so please comment below and tell me what you think. Also, please comment on any thoughts regarding the video, as I'm always hoping to improve. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. And also, please check me out on Twitch or any other social media. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.